This is a mold frame. It's an old Rio mold frame. It's two and seven eighths inches by one and seven eighths inches, and it makes a mold that's this size. The problem is, is that this is a non-shrink rubber, 4X Zero D Zero Shrink from Zero D Products, and I can't. Um, one of the interesting things about these old Rio mold frames is that the cavity is tilted like that. So this side of the mold frame is a little bit bigger than this side of the mold frame. So I should be able to push, push this thing out, but it's not budging because the 4X0D, um, it has an affinity for aluminum. And even though I've sprayed it with Teflon, it still likes to stick. So the easy solution for that is to get a larger mold frame like this and put the real mold frame on it. You've got to be sure that you put the wide side of the mold frame down. It's not going to matter if you have mold frames that have parallel sides to them. But you can see that I'm, I'm putting the edges of the smaller mold frame on the edges of the larger mold frame and there's a cavity beneath this mold now. So I'm going to be able to use my press. Oh, I've also I've also cut a smaller piece of aluminum that will fit just inside the size of this particular mold. Let me get this back out. We put the center of the piece of aluminum on top of the mold, put it in there, and now I'm just lowering the platens of my vulcanizer. And there should come right out. Yep. So you can see that the aluminum has pushed the mold down in there. And now I can just take this guy right out very easily. So now I have a zero shrink mold that comes out of the frame quite easily with just a little bit of help. Thanks for watching. This is Chuck Hunter with FlexibleJewelryMolds.com.